Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. As you probably saw from my last video, and also as I said, I'm going to be changing up the format of my videos, so bear with me as we go through this because I'm going to be doing another educational video. Mm. Hopefully the last one didn't suck. Today's video is going to be about how to do a foundation face base pretty much if you have oily skin. So um, if anyone has watched my previous videos I have mentioned before that I have combination oily skin. So my skin is oily more or less like here largely around my nose, around my cheeks, and sometimes around here depending on the weather but it's largely kind of like here on my face that is very oily or at the very least retains oil so I figured I would make a video that helps other people who I'm acting like this is like an intense struggle who who deals with this as much as I do especially you know it's still hot out it's still summer so Here's how I do my base so that it sticks onto my face and doesn't melt away from my grease. Here it goes. So I brought you guys in closer. Hello. Hello. Wait. There we go. So the first thing to like prepping your skin is to make sure you start with a clean base and I've also added a moisturizer because even though your skin is oily, sometimes oil is produced because your skin doesn't have enough moisture weird stupid I know don't know why but drinking enough water moisturizing your skin those are good ways to try to help with you know oil on your skin skin care is more than just makeup and such but uh, also what helps is a very good primer base so I'm gonna be using the milk hydro grip primer it is a very moisturizing primer, that is for sure. And I know some people would shy away from it because if you have oily skin, you see a primer like this and you assume it's going to like make your skin even oilier. But actually what it does is it dries tacky, so it helps whatever you put over top of it stay in place a lot better. I think I put too much. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> But a good primer, especially if you want your makeup to stay, it's good to have something that dries down tacky. And with the Milk Hydro Grip, it's also extremely moisturizing and seals in moisture. You guys are just going to watch me blend this in because I put way too much. Oh my god. See, look how bouncy my skin looks. That might just be because I'm chubby, but whatever. It's bouncy, and I'm going to thank the Hydro Grip. <laughs> But with the base on, now I like to wait for it to become a bit stickier, like if you can see. It becomes pretty tacky. So that will come in handy for the next step. This I will hereby dub the Jackie Ina method, where after you have your primer set on, you put on a setting powder over top and that will help dry out some of the moisture from your own skin so that your base can go on a lot more matte and almost drying. You'll see. Next I'll be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in color Medium Deep. And this is the mini. I'll just be using that with a beauty sponge and I'll just be patting that all over my face. I. Today's just a day of too much, so don't do what I did. Use a bit less. Honestly, I think it's because of this sponge, though. Like, I've only recently started using it, and it's um the Microfiber Beauty Sponge, I believe it's called, from Shop Miss A. And this thing holds so much product, even after you dab some off. Like, look at that. I did one dip one dip and I am looking like an actual ghost oh my gosh so though I do look like Casper right now this sponge is insane I'm actually kind of scared but yeah just kind of pat that around your 
face. Next, the thing you'd want to do with oily skin is to use either a mattifying foundation or at least something that doesn't have oil in it. Like a water-based foundation would be a lot better for you because why would you want to add more oil to oil, you know? And my go-to for foundation lately, especially in the summer, has been the Lancome Tanked Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. But if you do want something a bit on the like cheaper side, I would recommend the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And this one is also a matte foundation. I use shade D70 and it's actually like a perfect match to my skin. As for the Lancome, I use shade 550 Suede C. And this one is a bit warmer on my skin tone, but it's still like a good match, especially again in the summer. My favorite thing I would say about each, like for this one, the price is amazing. I think it's like just under $20 Canadian. And I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart. So if you want something that's cheaper, definitely I would recommend this. My only issue is that it does transfer fairly easily. So probably set it with a good setting powder. And as for the Lancome, this one is actually transfer resistant. So transfer resistance is going on my face. I'm starting off with just one pump on my hand of the Lancome. Look at that difference jeez no that sponge is terrifying because i do this a lot and like i haven't used that sponge to do it yet and it like doubled the amount of product on my face that's actually amazing but i'm scared i'm terrified <laughs> so you can see um if you have oily skin honestly putting too much product on would most likely make things worse so if you do the method I'm doing now where you put some on your hand first and then dab it in place as you go, you have better control of how much foundation you use. And also try not to put too much foundation on your like prominent oily spots because again, too much product is just more buildup, more things that can swish around, move around. So what I do is I focus around most of my face first and if I have like a little bit of excess then I'll like put the rest on my nose to give it a bit more coverage without it being like completely caked up either. And also with the pump on hand method you can better control how much of your product you're using. I added another half pump here just to kind of get these areas. But you can better control how much product you are using so you don't overuse your product, so you don't waste product. Because if you just put it straight to your face, you don't know how much you fully need. And there's a good chance you'll end up overusing product that you otherwise wouldn't have needed to. So once you blend this out nicely, like, look closer at my skin. See? The Lancome definitely has, like, a medium to full coverage, but you can build it up. And I take that excess from the rest and move it around my nose. And this foundation dries, like, pretty quickly. I don't know if you can... See, I have, like, that tiny little bit just right there. But this foundation dries, like, immediately. Next for my concealer, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Long Wear Concealer. Long name. Uh, so I'll be using this concealer here. It claims to be 16 hours and I have worn it to work before and the wearability is very nice. This um, concealer is very full coverage, I will say. Like it's a very thick consistency if you can possibly see here maybe if I'm out of the way so if you can see it's pretty thick in consistency but like when you have oily skin man sometimes you need a bit of extra I normally go more on my concealer than on my foundation I'm only gonna use a bit of this 
Something I'll note when you're using your face bases, try to use something where the first ingredient is water. Um, again, don't use oil bases because you're just going to be doing yourself a disservice of adding more grease to your grease. With the concealer down now, because again we're trying to go for a bit more coverage, you leave it sit so that it can dry down. As it dries down, you actually see that you'll be able to get a lot more coverage for the same product. So you're also technically saving product because you don't have to use as much if you leave it to sit down. It's pretty amazing. So while I let this sit, I'll actually do my eyebrows off screen and be right back. So I'm back with my eyebrows done, extremely dark, extremely big, like me. I let my concealer dry down for about five minutes or so while I did my eyebrows because I'm very slow. And I'll be taking my Kabuki brush again that I used for my foundation and just blend that out. And as you can see, even with like a tiny bit, it's definitely more illuminating. Which is exactly what we're going for. See, like when I do minimal pressure, it don't budge. But if you press a bit harder, I'm actually going to get my mirror. You can nicely blend this out. Because the Makeup Revolution Concealer, it does dry down matte as well. Um, but not like drying. I don't know how this got here. Whoops. <laughs> but yes, it does dry down pretty matte but it's still hydrating, which is exactly what you would want, especially if you have oilier skin. Next, I'll be using my concealer brush and just getting under my eye. Next, I'll be taking my Kabuki brush again and kind of going over that to better incorporate it with my foundation. Now that this is done, wow, my eyebrows are not even, are they? <sighs> Very on brand. So with oily skin, you are going to want to use a very good setting powder, definitely, because though we put on setting powder underneath this base, which gives it a nice, very like velvety vibe to it, now you want something that'll help set your concealer. So with that, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, and this one is in Translucent, because I do want a bit of a brighter under eye effect, so I'll be using Translucent. I'll be using the same beauty sponge, and I'm going to be more careful with it. Ooh. Okay, so I'll be bringing that under my eyes. And letting it sit and this is when I put some on my nose I'm trying to set my o my oilier spots and my nose is definitely one of my biggest oil problems so I like to set my nose I'll actually take some to my forehead as well and actually pat that in a bit better to help set my concealer you know what I'm going to set around my mouth, too. <laughs> now that the powder has sat for a bit, I'll be using the sponge again and just kind of pressing it into the concealer, into my skin, to really help it do what it gotta do. I'll do the rest of my face quickly and I will be right back. Hello, I am back. To you guys, it's been a few seconds. To me, I think it's been an hour. I don't know. It. I took my time. I took my time. Mm -hmm. But here I am and I figured I'd play off of the extra dark eyebrows and just go full on vampiric glam. So, for my face, I actually used the... Makeup Revolution, uh, Patricia Bright Collab Palette, Dusk Till Dawn, the face palette here for the blush. For my contour, I used the Makeup Revolution Mega Bronzer in shade Deep. 
So that's what I used for my contour. For my eyes, I used the Tarte Clay Play Palette. And I used shades Onyx and Sand. So these two right here. For my lashes, as usual, I use the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara and the Essence Lash Princess under my eyes. And for my lips, uh, I use the Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in shade Pitch Black. So I use this. So to complete the look, again, if you have oily skin, it's nice to use a good setting powder to help set your face. Try not to use like an illuminating setting spray, a dewy setting spray, because you might just make your face look a bit oilier than that than what you want or intend. So I'm actually going to be using, like I'm being really hypocritical here, but I'm using the Radiant Finish Setting Spray by NYX, because the only other one I really have is the Dewy Finish NYX Setting Spray, and that's not what we're going for. So I'll just spray my face down. Overkill. <laughs> and I'll just fan this down. Now that my face has dried down, this is a finished look. So with all the products that we put in, because they were all either powders, pressed powders, or mattifying products, though my face still does have a good glow to it because of the setting spray, Everything else has nicely set down and this will definitely last long Especially if it's hot out because this is what I do before going to work and again I work in a hot kitchen you learn tips and tricks as you go along. I really hope that this helps someone um, If you want you can definitely let me know like what tricks you use if you have combination oily or oily skin to help your makeup sit or at the very least stay longer. If you made it this far, thank you. And comment, uh, black heart in the comments. If you've made it this far in the video, I would greatly appreciate seeing everyone down there. If you have any suggestions for things you either want me to show you guys or anything you might want to learn or know more about, also write that in the description. And if you like this video, then please like the video. And if you like me, then please subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!